The best part about the game of baseball is the next game is just right around the corner. After falling to Georgia Tech 10 to nothing in game one of Friday's doubleheader, the Seminoles storm right back to take game two 11 to three, paced by DJ Stewart's grand slam and career high six RBI. I mean, we knew, I mean, that game was over with. We just came in the dugout, coach told us, hey, they beat us. That's what they did, so we gotta come out, bring the energy. We had no energy the first game, so from the first inning, we were playing with energy. Our dugout was great the entire night. Pitching was awesome. Very impressed with the way we bounced back. I think that says a lot about our club. We know that there's an awful lot of good clubs in this country, and Georgia Tech certainly one of them, and it was great to see us bounce back like we did. It showed that we had fight in us. You know, we didn't we didn't give up in the first game, but it was just, you know, you got to tip your hat to their guy. And, you know, coming out and getting two runs in the first inning, you know, it's always always fun to uh, pitch with a, with a lead from the very beginning. So Marcus played great. I mean, he, he's the one who started us off. Seth had a heck of a game. I mean, I don't understand why they ran on him again, but <laughs> I guess they think he's just one of those lefties that can't throw. But he had a heck of a game defensively, and then we swung the bats getting runs, I mean, that was a great job for our team. It's certainly a young man that uh, just needs to play. And uh, after the first game, he was a little dejected, but he's a guy that is learning the game. And he went right back in there. In the, in the fun part, had a couple of very good at-bats. I knew I had to come out here and give a good quality start after the first game, you know. They kind of gave it to us in the first one, but uh, I talked to Lee Brand about his outing, and he just said that uh, he was too much in the zone, throwing, throwing too many pitches over the plate, and he said they're beatable. He just didn't have his best stuff today. So, you know, I just pitched my game and was trying to stay off the plate as much as possible, and things turned out pretty good. It was a great job. You look at the scoreboard and all their averages. I mean, pretty much everyone's at 350 or higher. So, I mean, it was a great job. Scott, Scott's thrown well. I mean, he's give, given up a few more hits than he would like to, but he's hitting his spots and letting our defense work. And that's what wins games, pitching the defense. Because of Saturday's inclement weather coming into the Tallahassee area, the Seminoles and Yellow Jackets will play the rubber match on Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. Make sure you stay with us here at Seminoles.com for all the complete coverage. So here on Friday evening after a doubleheader, I'm Scott Kodak reporting for Seminoles.com.